Fellow seekers, I welcome you to Mysterious Mysteries. I'm the mystery man, Thomas Warrington. And today, we aren't looking at aliens, conspiracies, or Bigfoot at all, but at the tiny little mysteries surrounding us all the time. Have strange noises ever ripped you from a deep sleep? Sounds like someone or something in your house creeping around. Have you ever felt absolutely certain there was somebody else in the room, even though you were all alone? Seems we all know this feeling, right? Though, where does it originate? We need only look at fairy tales and legends. In them, we find countless references to teensy, mysterious creatures living alongside man. In Russia, they're called house spirits, leprechauns in Ireland, gnomes in Germany, lobbyists in America, not to mention elves, trolls, fairies, and countless others. Could it be that there's something real behind these myths? You better believe it. That is really smart. Then you do believe in this? I meant your tie looked smart. You look really quite dapper, babbling all that silliness. Thanks, darling. Tom Thomas, so do you believe there are little creatures living all around us? Uh. Just because something can't be seen doesn't mean it isn't absolutely real. Microbes. I do believe in microbes. Chusaka must have millions of them. Without a microscope. Might there be teensy tiny creatures living side by side here with us, even as I'm talking? Maybe we just don't know how to see them yet. Why is Tom Thomas's father suddenly this obsessed with little creatures, do you think? <gasps> you don't think Tom Thomas spilled the beans about us? Uh, told him about us? Absolutely not. He'd never tell anybody about Fixie's papas. Right. Not if you held him down and made him eat gallons and gallons of boiled broccoli. <laughs> I feel sorry for Tom Thomas's father. He wants so badly to see mysterious small creatures in real life, and he's clueless we're here. Simka! Our classmates should really, really be seeing this! You're right! Let's go tell him, Nolan Cat! Tiny mysterious creatures actually could be everywhere. That's incredibly true. Look, listen, feel, sense. They could be right beside you. I feel them. I keep telling Professor Eugenius that this laboratory is haunted. <laughs> if you hear anything that sounds strange... <gasps> if something falls down for no reason at all... An electrical appliance suddenly turns itself on. Oh! 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 My stars and garters! You all right? Oh. Yeah! Elisa, come on. Don't shred it. I like that scarf. Listen to me. If but you I didn't start the thing. Unexplainable phenomenon. That's it. It was an unexplainable phenomenon. Or found even the slightest sliver of a trace of tiny creatures. Tiny creatures. It could have been them. You can't possibly believe the stuff on this show. Please give our hotline a call. That's our show. So, fellow seekers, good night. Elisa, we're scientists. Use your head. We don't waste time on the mystical. Oh no! Could this be a tiny creature? No, look, it isn't. Just a screw, that's all. <laughs> <sighs> so I'm just a screw, am I? Uh, professor, you know I'm just looking after our little conspiracy. Please. 
something a little screwy. Get it? Because it was a couple of screws. Anyway, I ditched the dog, and the two screws turned into tiny people creature things. I was like, whoa, no way. And I go, uh, who are you? And they did this adorable little dance. We're fixies. That's not true. We didn't want to blab what we are. Maybe not, but you did. Because I saved your lives. That's not the reason we told. We were trapped in that glass and you wouldn't let us out unless we told you who we were. Now let's hear the cameraman get back to your post. If we made all of our guests tell the truth, there'd be no show. <gasps> that is the truth. What? No, it's not. Is too. Simka, isn't it true? No. It's not. Look, time for us to hide. Tom Thomas, you have a guest. Katya! Hi there. I asked Katya to stop by and give you a little help with your math. To try and bring up your grades. Okie doke. Well, good luck with everything. Um, why does Tom Thomas look like he's going to the bathroom? Oh, that's Katya! He wants to be her boyfriend. Like you want with fire? <clears throat> I thought we could start with fractions. Uh, uh, we're not really gonna study, are we? That's why I'm here. We're kinda good friends, right? Well, yeah. Look, now she looks all weird. And don't you think good friends should always help each other out? Don't you? Then why don't we just play and tell my mom that I'm totally the king of math now? Yeah. Listen, I'm here to help you study, not to play around. <laughs> She's just like you, sis. I'm fun. No, what she is is responsible and beautiful. No, like you just don't understand anything. Yeah, what's to understand? Except Sam good fire sitting in a tree. Just stop. We've spied long enough. It's time for school. Oh, but it's fun to watch Tom Thomas try to do math. Fractions. The first question is coming your way, Ferda. Now then, you just take a gander up there and tell us how to fix that mechanism. Well, would that fix it? Yeah, or better, really polish it. Oh, I look good. Seriously, Verda? This fix is simple. Don't overthink. It's not complicated. I would fix it by realigning that gear. Yes, that's right. Hmm. Yeah, so what? A digit. What tool could realign that gear? A crowbar, sir. It would increase the amount of applied force to the gear. That's right. Please get a crowbar out of your pack on that digit. Unclutter your mind. Just imagine a quality crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, Nolik. <laughs> Do not help the little fella out. A plus, right? Kula, you must remember. 
remember, look before you fix. Professor, if you let me, I can fix this. Better yet, Fire, answer this important question. <laughs> sure thing. Demonstrate for us, please, what a fixie should do when they see a human. Seriously? Everybody knows that one. Then demonstrate it. That's right. You turn into a screw immediately. I thought you'd forgotten. Ooh. What with that outrageous prank you pulled on Eugenius's assistant yesterday. Fixies are supposed to hide from people, not try to mess with them. You got that? And now it's time for a teamwork test. Reassemble this broken mechanism. You will have, uh, nine seconds. Get ready to fix. Start fixing. <laughs> That was awful. But nine seconds? That just isn't long enough. Yeah, why the big fat hurry? We have to fix stuff fast. The Fixie's mission is to take care of every single machine. And the number of machines is growing and growing. Which means we Fixies must learn to fix things faster and faster all the time. Grandpa's is impossible. No, it isn't. Not if you team up and work together. You ready? Can we quickly huddle up first? <laughs> oh, all right, kids. Ready to go. Then start fixing. <laughs> Time's up. There. You did it. Yeah. Fantastic fixing class. Yeah. We're a class. We're a team. We're the best. Fix. Sorry for interrupting your lesson there, friend. There's no need to hide, kids. It's just Professor Eugenius. Yeah, hi there. <laughs> hey, guess what? I've just had the greatest idea ever. <laughs> Greater than all your greatest ideas? All right, what is it? Get ready for our new company, Repairs Anywheres. Picture it. Some poor guy's computer breaks down. He calls our lab. Panicked, I calm him down. Get his information and assign the problem to a fixie. The fixie zippy zaps through the wires to the guy's place and fixes the computer instantly. I say, try it again now. Guy says, no way, it's a miracle, you rock. He tells his friends, the orders come pouring in and so does the money. <laughs> awesome, right? So, Professor, then what you really want is to get rich? Yeah, no! You see, I, I, I only want to upgrade my laboratory. <gasps> the laboratory of my dreams, with state-of-the-art equipment, fully automated, integrated, smart lab technology. Once I have this lab, I'll bring to life scientific breakthroughs no one has ever dreamed of! Not even me. What's more? Part of the laboratory will be a new Fixie University for all the Fixies. <laughs> right here. Yay! Studying at the Fixie University? That is awesome! Excuse me, Professor, but did you say that the Fixies will get into customers' houses in the wires? Exactly right. But is that even possible? <laughs> oh, it's possible, all right. Professor, you haven't demonstrated our latest invention to your students? It's not quite ready to show them yet. But why? Come on, show us, Professor. It's still got a couple little uh, bugs. Nonsense. We just tested it yesterday, and it worked just great. Oh, fine. One teensy peek. Watch and learn. Our invention will change everything. Um, is that it? What? Oh, <laughs> no, my greatest invention is not a boot. Oh, I was looking for that. <laughs> this is it. Huh? Laser shoes? Ooh, these beast sneakers are stylish. Well, they're sneakers, all right, but not for your feet. They're electro bracelets. And with them, Fixies will be able to sneak through electrical wires. <gasps> so cool. Splendid. Class. 
It's impossible. Oh, no, it isn't. Just watch. Oh, oh right. Uh, Professor, switch off the locking beams, please. <laughs> Amazement incoming. Prepare yourselves. Beg pardon, Professor. Oh, this will just take a sec. <laughs> Eliza, uh, um, why are you spreading flour? Where are you? Oh, there you are. The flour will help to detect them. Detect who? Why, the tiny creatures, of course. Oh, this again? Come on, Elisa. But, Professor, you may be a genius, but you don't understand this. No, this laboratory has mystical inhabitants. Nonsense. But I did see a cockroach in the storage room. <laughs> Go and deal with it, please. Capture or exterminate? Oh, I don't know. Just get it. <gasps> <laughs> wires are running there. Now with this, we fixies will be able to get any place almost instantly and fix appliances even faster. Amazing, right? Grandpa's, it's like... like a revolution! Ah, thank you, Professor. Not at all. This thing's splendid. Is this a shower or what? Yes, you could call it that. It's a zero-accumulated power purge. C-A-P-P, -P, or... The Zap, for short. Just watch. It eliminates ooh, any remaining electrical charge. There. And you have to do that? Every time, yes. Electricity is astonishingly dangerous. Its long-term effects on a fixie could be disastrous. Can humans use the wires to travel too? Like fixies? Absolutely not! Humans should never, ever play with any electrical wiring at all. They'll get electrocuted! Yes, as I know, I know all too well. It was the night we met. You had probably been hanging around the lab watching me for quite some time, which could be considered a weensy bit rude, by the way. <laughs> Spying. <laughs> But am I glad you were there, my friend. Hootly hoo boy, am I glad you were there. If it weren't for you and your stamp flapping skills, the poor world would have lost one of its greatest minds. Uh. <gasps> yep, that's how we met. Yeah, and then we became a great team. And thanks to Professor Eugenius, our school can be located in an actual working laboratory. Can we try the electro bracelet? Uh, you cannot. Professor, please return these to the safe. They need a good deal more work yet. Well, they look pretty done to me. Uh, there, our lesson is over. Take a break. All right, the calculator's all fixed. Not sure what those parts are for, though. Stop! There's math coming out of my ears! Maybe, but you haven't actually learned oh. anything yet! Then you're just not a good teacher. Fractions make even less sense to me now that you've been babbling on and on about them. So, thanks a lot, and bye! Hm. Well, since you didn't even try, then it isn't my fault. What reason does anyone have to learn math? You see, there's this thing called a calculator! <laughs> Motherboard quake! <laughs> Like, you'd even know what buttons to push on this. Hey, give it! <laughs> so how's it going? Looks more like karate than math. How about a cookie break? Break time for everyone! Who cares a fraction? Only three quarters of a cookie. 
I wish someone would come and fix my back right now. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Living shoelaces that tie themselves. What a great idea. Must add it to the list. Yo, out of space. Need to gain some weight. No, use paper. You genius, you genius. to the legs so the laces don't slither off with them. Man, I'm smart. Huh? Oh. Well, I guess one of us isn't worthy. Um, Fire, shouldn't we really return those things to Grandpa's? Yes, we should. And I'll deliver them right to him by wire. Fire, you really shouldn't. Trippy and amazing again. for the next lesson. Uh, where are Fire and Nullick? Hey, am I late? What are you doing with the electro bracelets? Nothing. Well, I wish for them and they appeared. It looks like we're made to be this way. <laughs> you give those back. You're putting your life at risk. Fetch the zap. Hurry. We need to remove the electrical charge from Fire's body. That was very, very naughty. All right, go for it. We're scientists, so I must find evidence. No! Grandma's girdle, look at that! Teeny weeny footprints. This is our laboratory. Mystical creatures, roaches, you're finished, whatever you are. <laughs> But I locked them in the safe. <gasps> this is impossible. Fire! Scaring Elisa again? You know better than that. Now, how should a fixie behave when he sees a huge... Blah, blah. 
Is this what you want me to be? This right here? I'm just behind the screw. <laughs> well, forget that. Ooh, I'm a proud pixie. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a pixie by the toe. Go ahead if you dare, but you better just be there. If you try to catch a pixie, you will get a big surprise. When the pixie that you're chasing disappears before your eyes. When you try to catch a pixie, you will get a big surprise. When the pixie that you're chasing disappears before your eyes. <laughs> till we have this problem under control. I'm trying to help you out. We can manage this. Simka! <laughs> Wanna come with fire on a wild wire ride? What? <gasps> that sounds interesting. Do you think I could try it by myself first? Why not? I'll keep up with you on your fixie board. You can pop these on. But fair warning, you won't want to take them off again. Ever. <laughs> Brandis! Look <laughs> over here! Come back here, traitor! Genius. Cockroaches don't zap you with sparks. Uh-uh. If you refuse to believe in teeny mystical creatures, well, then it's up to me to save this laboratory. <gasps> Mysterious mysteries. Aha! Uh -huh. There you are. Where is that hotline number? Super awesome, right? Fire! Give those bracelets to me! So, bye-bye. Quick, prop her up. You'll be fine. Fire's gone mad with power. Actual electrical power. Could we use the locking beams to stop fire? Oh, great idea, Digit. But we'll have to aim them just right to get a hold of the bracelets. Well, it doesn't look like the sparks are exactly good for the complexion and frizz. Uh, hmm. <sighs> A mirror in the hand will put the locking beams at our command. Oh, All right, do it. Verda, how are you feeling? Like a lipstick in a blender. A wild wire ride. I don't think that I'll trust a single boy ever again. Zabbity-zip, what a trip! Well, I 
Hey, they're shooting some kind of pew pew at me. Weird. <laughs> yes! I'm a space energy ninja now. Digit, you are so clever. I wouldn't have thought of this in Googleplex years. Would you stand still for one second, fire? Never! <laughs> no! Puny pew pews are no match for fire! <laughs> Tua, just focus your beam onto his other bracelet. Stop distracting me! Shush! Hi! Hi! Tula, are you even aiming? Tula! Tula! Stop yelling at me! This is no time for squabbling! <laughs> Part of your goody good team anymore! Digit, Tula, keep these focused on fire. No arguing. Simka, come with me. We'll get the zap. Quick! Don't tread on me! I'm a ninja! Fire! Does it hurt bad? Yes, it burns. I think that the beams are burning into my skin. Please help me, my friend. Tell me what I can do! Come here, come here. I'm not sure. Nolik! No, don't listen to him! No, Fire! That isn't right! Didn't I save your life? You gotta help me. I promise I'll give the bracelets back to Grandpus. Oh, <laughs> Tula! Digit! Wanna see a magic trick? We've had more than enough of your tricks. Nothing up my sleeve! What? You watching? It's gonna be awesome! You really think you got me trapped? All that I said was that I'd give them back. But now we were and I'd be giving them back. We just never. Bye-bye, Zap! Well, where's Fire? Nolik, cut off the beams. Uh, Fire promised that he'd give back the bracelet things. Tula, Digit! How could you let this happen? We would have had him if it weren't for Nolik. <laughs> Tula, Nolik's still little. Fire must have tricked him, that's all. Right, Nolik? Nolik? Where is he? Nolik, my buddy, thank you. You lied to me! <laughs> it was just a trick. Come on, you get it? What it was was a dirty, mean trick. Nolik, do you want a wild fire ride? Hmm? Like Verda? Not a chance, friend. Nolik! from a guy who can go anywhere in the whole world! And then Verda was like, Oh, please, take me on a wire ride! She did. And you know, it really kind of messed her up. Thankfully, her hair's fine. What about Fire? Well, he's not acting like himself. Like he isn't Fire. That's why we have to stop him. All right, then. I'll head back to the laboratory. Meanwhile, Nolik, just stay here, okay? With Papa Sanasia? I'll be catching fire! Well, I sit and do diddly squat! Are you really just gonna sit and wait? Who are you talking to? Your desk? Um, it wasn't me. Is <laughs> someone else in here? I was reciting the math problems. I love math. Sure you were. And was that tiny other voice saying math problems as well? It's my Katya impression. Pretty good, right? Kinda. Want to do it again wearing one of my dresses? Hello? Teeny weeny creatures in Eugenius Labs? Sparks? Scarf shredding. And you actually saw them? Uh, what's the address? 15 Violet Street. This is awesome. <gasps> That's near here. Don't let them know you're onto them. Hang tight. Really, do nothing. I'll grab my camera and be right there. I have to warn my friends, but Nolik has already left. Nolik? What's a Nolik? I thought that you would know. It's in the book. Right. What is going on here? Out with it. Katya, sorry, but something's come up and I have to be somewhere. I'm coming. And I'm going to relentlessly bug you until you tell me what's going on. 
<laughs> Honey bear? I got a crazy call and I need to film something. I might be a while. Oh, another one of your fans imagining stuff. I wish you'd fix that kitchen cupboard instead. I'm scared it'll fall. Yeah. I'll do it later. <sighs> so that's the story. I was tricked by my very best friend. Hey, somebody call for an electrician? Oh, he looks worse. What has happened to my friend Fire? Nick! You know, buddy? Sparkies? <laughs> You left. Hello, friend. Hey. <laughs> I knew that I'd find you in here, Nullick. You really should join me, buddy. It's so cool. Cool. It's so cool. I am <laughs> 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 Why are there children here? Uh, Who are you? Hi, I need to see Professor Eugenius. The professor's busy. Uh, could you ask him if he'll see us? Hello? Huh? Come on! Hi, I'm guessing you're the one who called me? Yeah! Oh, that handle in the back. This suit protects me from them. I can't believe it's really you. I've watched you on this very TV. <gasps> Mysterious Mysteries is one of my favorite shows ever, you know. Nice camera. Does it have like a good uh, Let's get down to business. Okay? If it weren't for you, I would have made it here in time. Now I can't even warn them. Warn who, where, about what, why? It's a secret. Just forget it. You said that we're good friends. Good friends don't keep secrets from each other. Wait, shh. So you really saw the creature. How many knocks? Tom Thomas, you better tell me, or we're done being good friends. Wild fire! Well, this 
fixing is next generation. Before you can fix something, first you gotta break it. And I think I'm just the fixing for the job. I love breaking! Fire! You're freaking me out. Uh, Malik, you are thinking too hard. Before one can fix, one must break. And I am off to break the world! Uh, what? This is all your little brother's fault, Simka. Why do you have to help Fire get away? It was you who gave the Electro Bracelets back to him, Verda. What? How dare you? I almost died and my skin is red. Please don't fight like this. We're all on the same side, right? Yeah, Digit? Could someone else be on my side? What exactly do you mean by that? This is my fault. The world's dumbest genius. Where is he? We have to find him. How about we look there? We have there. reports of electrical devices inexplicably breaking down all over town today. Street lamps, traffic lights, ATMs, all shorting out for no reason. A power outage at the zoo made rush hour very interesting, while random appliances and power lines began sparking and even bursting into flames. A failure in the city's wiring grid is the possible cause. So that's where he is, Stay huh? tuned for plenty more on 24. Hey, did you miss me, guys? because he hasn't zapped away the accumulated power. Did you see all that stuff that I broke that'll now need fixity fixin'? Repairs anywheres will make so much money, money, money. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> yes! Fire, use your head. You must take off the bracelets. Say what? My two precious eggs? These sparky arm galoshes can do the most amazing things. <laughs> Watch and learn. Oh, and there will be a test. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I, I, I know it's not perfect, but it's still my laboratory. And come on, you go to school here. School's got nothing to teach me. This place is dumb and good. Let's get rid of it and build that sweet new laboratory. <laughs> Genius! A person from the TV is here to see you! Oh, it just keeps getting better, doesn't it? Hi there. I'm the host of TV's Mysterious Mysteries, Tom Warrington. Professor Eugenius, and why am I talking to you? Well, your laboratory is infested with tiny mystical creatures. <laughs> oh, that's just loony. There aren't any tiny creatures or medium creatures. There's no creatures, and there never, ever were. <laughs> Great Einstein's ghost, what are you wearing? Did you dress her up like this? What kind of a weird show do you have here? No, I made this. It's protection. Protection from the Her ideas are pretty kooky. You can put that thing away. Well, unless you've got a show called Ladies in Cardboard Dresses. Goodbye. Uh, uh, huh? What just exploded in there? Um... Ah, that! Yeah, 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 that experiment. <laughs> very unstable, very dangerous. Thanks for stopping by. Please never come back. I'm sorry. I'm just really pressed for time. Bye-bye. Something is definitely happening in there. Hey, 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 hey. Why is anybody breaking stuff? F minus. You're all staying after school. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
help you. If this is the way Fire behaves when he's someone's guest, can you imagine what he must act like at home? He must drive his parents crazy. I'm just so glad that our Nullick isn't like him. Do you hear that, Buggy? They actually think I'm good. But this whole thing's my fault. Even that's my fault. They had fire caught in the beams and I let him go. Now they all think I'm a dumb little kid traitor. And I'm a big coward too. Because instead of helping, I'm sitting here feeling sorry for myself. I need to get off my butt and fix this. Go out and prove I'm a real fixie. Yeah, I gotta. This is my fault. And it's up to me to do something to take care of fire. Well, not by myself, but with everyone. Are you scared? Yeah, so am I. But I still have to do it. Tom Thomas, I'll tell your mom that you've worked your way through this entire math book. That you're the smartest in the class. I'll tell her anything that you want me to. Just tell me the secret. I can't, no. Honestly, I'd rather study math than talk about this anymore. What if I run and tell your father that we're here? You'd really get it then. So... Many, many years ago, when Fixies still turned into nails because screws hadn't been invented yet, two brave Fixies decided to reveal themselves to humans. And the humans put them in cages and experimented on them. They tortured them with fire. They froze them. They tried to cut them open and look inside. And when the Fixies ran, the humans caught them and hammered them into the wall where they could not escape. The poor Fixies stayed there as bent, rusty nails. Forever! <gasps> and that's the reason why every Fixie promises to never reveal themselves to humans. Now swear that you won't tell a soul about us! Ever, Tom Thomas! Did that story actually happen? Well, kind of maybe. But will you swear? Will you? Yeah. Yeah? Tell me everything. I gotta know. Can't. <sighs> you are so stubborn. Really, Dad? Crud. This could ruin everything. <laughs> now and see what it is later. What? Hey! Uh, 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 giant robot arm! Hey! I'm a member of the fourth estate! An almost award-winning journalist! I have a duty to fulfill! Whoa, Dizzy! The world has a right to know what you do! I'm not going anywhere! Not until you... Uh, uh, until you tell me what is happening here! All right, all right. But can you wait in here, please? Get comfy, dust off your most penetratingest questions, and I'll be right in. <laughs> right in. Right in. <laughs> Professor Eugenius? <sighs> what is it now? Um, there's a bee on your... in the very middle of your forehead. Just here. Ah! It'll sting my beautiful brain! <laughs> there. Now, no more visitors. No more. you kids playing? Earthquake? Oh. 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 
Hello, kids? Chusaka? Where is everybody? <gasps> Great. The children aren't here. Tom isn't either. I'll keep calm. Moms can handle anything. Ah! I'm ready. Tough mother. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Huh? Oh my gosh. What's wrong? you here because we wanted to see the little creatures. Hey, don't mention that. Plus, well, so we wanted somewhere new to study. It? Uh, <laughs> Look at all this stuff. Ooh, it's mine for the break. Hey. Mutant beetles? There are some seriously mysterious mysteries in this laboratory. Whoa! Lights out! Took care of those pesky lights! They were wasting so much electricity! Smash it, smash! <laughs> I do say so myself. I'm crushing it. Literally. We're running out of time! Don't pull it! Wait until I get the signal! Maybe if you looked where you were going. Everybody be nice. Nobody was in anybody's way. Seriously? You've been in my way all day, Tula. I'm here. I came to help. Come on, let's catch fire. All of us as a team. <sighs> yeah, some team. We're no team at all. But we are a team. We can be a great team, right? Right? Nolik, what are you doing here? Betty thought fire might need to be rescued again. No, like things have gotten just really terrible here. You'd be much safer if you went home. Yeah, you'll just get in the way if you stay here. Fire! Don't you dare! What are you doing? <laughs> I want to break your stuff! And then I want to break everyone else's stuff! That's, <laughs> That's right, we're here with thousands of children who have flocked to the opening of the Palladium, the world's largest and most advanced indoor amusement park. There's plenty to do under this. Oh, <laughs> and it's not even my birthday! When I'm done messing with you clowns, I'm going to the Palladium! <laughs> Get ready, kids, cause wildfire's coming! Just look at all those smiling faces! Oh, this is a nightmare! What can we do? Are the doors locked? 
Fire must, must stay here. If you plug the outlets, he can't get to the wires. Plug, 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 plug. Yeah, plug a Rooney. So much debris. <laughs> If fire does manage to escape, the kids at the Palladium will be in real danger. Goodness, those poor little kids. All of them are guaranteed to see him. Everyone's going to learn about Fixies now. Goodness, poor Fixies. Fire's still our friend, and he needs our help. Goodness, poor Fire. We can catch him. We can if we work together, like we're a team. <gasps> Peace. I'm completely useless. No help at all. What do I think I could do? No use. No point, Nullick. What's this? A little notebook? <gasps> and he told me I was seeing things all this time. I'm a little furious. Can you hear me in there, mystery guy? There's proof. Sketches of the freaky little critters. Gosh, I wish you could see them. Then open the door. I don't know where the keys are. There is a fire in here. <laughs> you do comedy too. <laughs> Professor, fire! <laughs> Professor Eugenius, the handsome reporter that you locked in the closet <laughs> is burning. <laughs> huh? Children, where'd the kids come from? Well, not from me. Uh, hold there with me. You believe this guy? Are your wife and pets here too? <laughs> I'm fine. are plugged up. And here, too. And so are these. <laughs> come on. There's got to be one. Oh, one open road and I'm out of here. Oh, come on. Give me a break. in the building but us, right? So who are you calling? Uh, I don't know. Ah, why aren't you helping? <laughs> I'm a bitch. This isn't a movie. It's the real world. And those windows. 
They're made of armored glass. <gasps>
Still, before I leave, I think there's time for one more big break. Too many <laughs> How do you like me now? Adios, amigos. Seekers. Everybody on Earth! Yeah. You will not believe your eyes! I have just captured mystical, tiny, real-life creatures! Camera on me, I'm Elisa! I've been the assistant of Professor Eugenius for a while, and in case you're wondering... Yes, I'm single. Really wonderful speech, Elisa. Uh, Maybe I should do it again in Spanish. And what have you captured here? Just take a look! Spooky little creatures. Can't you see them in there? I see them quite clearly. But do you? You've got to be kidding me. But, but... Uh... Yeah? Huh? Where are the kids? Well, they're with me. What? In our own home? <laughs> Hurry! Kids! So the experiment that I was running made the table shake, the screws bounced around, and so they looked alive. But who shocked me then? Not shocked, but stung. You're the one that pointed the bee out. But all the sketches here, just look at these. <gasps> look at what sketches? I watch too much reality television. Oh, there, there. <laughs> Dudes, I feel like a fantastic fool. We're just happy that you're all right, Fire. And maybe Professor Eugenius won't notice how you completely destroyed his dream lab. <laughs> You were so beautiful. <laughs> Fiend! You destroyed my dream. You destroyed my laboratory. Sadness! Oh, my beautiful laboratories! <laughs> Move! This is all because of those bracelets. They must be destroyed! No, it isn't their fault. They're only an invention. The blame lies with their creator. That's right. You're very right. I should have never pressured you to demonstrate them like I did. The bracelets, they simply weren't ready yet. <laughs> I was just so excited about repairs anywheres. I deserve this all. Calm down and uh, put down the hammer, yeah? Good genius. All the hard stuff is behind us. has a video with us on it. Sorry to mess up the happy ending. While you were out there seeking, our house was full of real mysterious mysteries. Does this mean that you finally believe? I'm not really sure. I'm just glad you're back. Check this out. I got footage of them at that lab. This is gonna be huge. Emmy winning. The entire world will see my video of real live teeny <laughs> mystical creatures. <laughs> Tom Thomas, you need to distract your parents. Real big, real now. Dad, Mom, uh, yeah, there's something 
I need to say. Um, uh. Tom, Thomas, and me, we've decided we're getting hitched. What did you decide? We're getting engaged because we're in love. Uh, uh, oh, dear. That's quite a distraction, you guys. Crazy. Uh, the thing is, kids, uh, well, at your age, marriage is, it's illegal. Pretty sure it's not. I'm thinking we'll live at my place. This place is way too messy for newlyweds. Wow, she's right. Somebody wrecked this place. I look like a monster. Oh, I just can't believe I did all that. We have to do something to get rid of that film. This is my fault. It's my job. But this is absurd. You're both still children. How about this? Wait 30 years. Then see if you both still want to do this. Our love can't be denied. The wedding's set for next week. That's it. I'm done. I can't take any more. Nobody here is having a wedding. After the day I've had, you'd be wise to drop it. Okay? Looks like you guys aren't quite mature enough to handle this. But it's possible that we're just messing with you. <sighs> Your joke almost killed us. I kind of liked it. Well, there it goes. No. What? Don't tell me. I had them on tape. You, you saw them tell her. Enough mysteries for today. The only mystery I want to solve is who's going to clean up this mess. footage of us to get out? Not that. I was excited for the wedding. Breaking news, or should I say, unbreaking news. All over town, almost everything that mysteriously broke seems to have been just as mysteriously fixed. Lights are back on, burnt out appliances are working fine. Our upside down city is right side up again. Huh. Fixies all over town must be working overtime. It's time we get to work. Yeah, and you sure did make plenty for us. We can handle it all, because we're a great team! We're a class! We're a team! We're the best! Finish! When your TV has broken, when your cell phone has croaked, your laptop's barely working, the kettle's had a stroke. Don't ask us where we're going, for it's known far and wide. Right.